Hi everyone, Nisha Menon here, founder of Jack and Chill and uh, director of Nikaso Foods. Today's is a very quick impromptu video just to give you an update of uh, you know what has been happening since Brexit with regards to the imports and exports from UK EU. So uh, not too much of an update but still I thought uh, you know I'll just give you what's happening as well because many of you have been getting panicky and uh, you know getting in touch with me saying that your consignments are getting at the port. There has been a lot of delays and there has been a lot of new costings and uh, the added expenses that's come as well. So what I did was I got in touch with my freight forwarder last week and uh, checked with the HMRC officer as well just to see what's happening on the other side because we as a consumer or a business you know we might not know what is going on on the other side. As you know, these new rules have come into place for all these UK businesses who are importing from the EU or even from abroad and even for exporting from UK into the EU. And all the small businesses, the courier companies, the freight forwarding companies, the HMRC, customs, everybody, we are all facing these new rules, new regulations and a lot of paperwork as well. One main thing that, uh, you know, a lot of us are have started facing is the delays at the port. This is because what happens is all these years, UK and EU, it was one. And so now because it is treated as different, it is treated as an international place. So it is treated as export and import, you know. So you've got all these uh, new paperwork and new customs paperwork that has to be filed because if you send something from UK into the EU, it has, it has to have all the export paperwork filed from the other way around, from EU into the UK, then you've got to file the import paperwork, which obviously obviously is new for the customs and the HMRC or the freight forwarders so and it's many of the many of it is online as well so they are all facing these teething issues with all these new paperwork that is coming up there are a lot of container delays as well coming at the port and bypassing the UK port there is a lot of congestion happening at these ports the customs inspection has been happening at these uh, borders as well so and even the drivers you know they had they are getting checked at the borders with the paperwork they have to file the right paperwork if it's not the right paperwork then it has to be sent back so a lot of congestion has been facing at the port and that is a reason why there is a lot of delay for these consignments to be cleared because they are inundated with new these new paperwork that has to be dealt with and the admin work as well the next one is with re with regards to these new taxes you know that we have to pay although we agreed to a free trade deal you know the zero tariff agreement comes only if the product originates in the UK or the EU and exactly what licenses are required what duties you have to pay these all depends on the type of the goods the you know country where it originates from and also the value of the goods and also where it's exported to so it depends on all these conditions that what duty or what uh, you know VAT you pay as well like suppose if your goods are not made in the UK so example if I take my case we are all our products are made in India so when I used to import from India into the UK we used to get a reduced preferential rate for importing from a developing country into the UK and then for sending it to EU that was not an issue at all there was I just send it as a normal uh, you know truck pallet loads now what is happening is my EU customers they you know inform me that there are these new duty rates because the country originates in the uh, in India comes to the UK and it is considered as a re-export into EU so that will face a new tariff rate or new customs duty which nobody is sure of what the rates are even uh, we know the customs there or even here we are not sure of what the extra charges are going to be so even in my case my customers are quite upset that what the extra rates are going to be so if it doesn't originate in the UK then you will be uh, you know charged with an export tariff rate if you are exporting into the EU. Similarly, what happens suppose you are buying something from EU into the UK you know so all the EU retailers so now UK has uh, imposed a new VAT here or for import VAT so basically if you're buying something online few of you had contacted me saying that you had bought something online from Europe into the U UK and you had changed you had been charged a new tariff rate or you have been charged with a new VAT so that's what has happened UK has imposed a new import VAT now so EU businesses what they have to do 
because they have to register for VAT there and then file their uh, VAT to the HMRC and they also have this customs paperwork which have to be filed as well. So these are all adding those extra costs you know to take care of this paperwork and then the to, to do all the extra customs work as well. So some companies the courier companies they are charging for that extra paperwork. So let's say uh, you know if you are receiving anything from EU into the UK even if it's a gift. So under these new rules if it is more than 39 pounds then you will be charged with the import VAT which will be 20%. If it is more than 135 pounds then you will have the customs duty as well which can vary anything from 0% to 25%. So you can imagine that extra cost that you are having to pay on the cost of the goods you know if you pay 25% uh, the customs duty plus the 20% uh, you know the VAT charges so you end up pay paying almost half the charges of the cost of the goods which is your added cost now. So many of them what they have, what they have seen is that they are rejecting the parcels and sending it back over there and some small businesses have even decided to pause their businesses between UK and EU even it can be the EU, re EU retailers not sending into the UK. So my the aim of this video is uh, you know is just to let you know that this has been happening and uh, so if any of you have been facing these issues do get in touch with the HMRC or the customs or the uh, you know the freight forwarders they will be more than happy to help you out but don't get panicky or frustrated because they are also facing it as pretty new and they are all facing teething issues so don't get frustrated or panicky that's the only thing I wanted to say because we are all facing it together and let's in this meantime let's look at an alternative how it can be sorted out you know because for me what I told my customers they can import it directly from India into Greece or even if you have a supplier in the EU tell them that you know that will be your EU warehouse so you need to look at the other options and see what can be done and hopefully by then the government will bring some ease into this new regulations and then you know it will bring much more smoother ride uh, for all of us hopefully by March April that's what I'm expecting. What I would also recommend is um, visit the gov.uk website where they keep updating uh, you know what is happening and also HMRC is conducting a lot of uh, web webinars which uh, you know I think it goes on a weekly basis as well do keep an eye out on those webinars because it is really really helpful on uh, these updates and it will help you in building up your knowledge as well so that is highly recommended go to the website and res register for all these webinars and one more thing is if you guys any of you are facing any issues or if you if you found any solution to any of these do put it in the comments below so that we can all help out each other anyway if I come to know any more updates I will definitely post in this channel and keep you all posted so until then good luck with all of your businesses of your imports and exports and I'll see you soon take care bye bye